For the first year ever, the IRS is asking taxpayers to verify who they are. As Kate's Gloria Balding discovered, it's one tool in the ongoing battle against taxpayer identity theft, and it's affecting folks right here in Cakeland. According to the IRS, they have received more than 14.6 million suspicious returns and prevented millions of dollars in fraudulent refunds. And one Augusta man is happy that they did. It's just really kind of um, irritating. But John McCrary received two letters in the mail from the IRS claiming they needed him to verify his identity with the agency. He thought it was a scam. And it talks about um, your Credit report and your taxes do not match the information. The letter was legit, and McCreary realized someone had already filed a tax return using his Social Security number. What you have to do is you have to go in there, uh, call the number, verify, and what it is that they're using things off of your credit report. Because of the ID verification letter McCreary received, the IRS was able to stop the fraudulent return and report his identity theft to the credit reporting agencies. McCrary thinks scammers stole his identity during the Anthem data breach because of his wife's health insurance. Well, when I talked to IRS, they said, well, you got two letters? And I said, yeah, they're exactly the same. I mean, letter for letter. She goes, well, that means both of your Social Securities. If you think you have been the victim of identity theft, let the IRS know. They also recommend that you file a local police report to help document the theft. And for a link and tips to protect your Social Security, head over to cake.com and look for the Find It button. For Cake News, I'm Gloria Balding. And if you have a scam you want us to investigate, send us an email at scams at cake.com.